My name is Shay Brack and my topic is vaccinations. This topic is important because recently many parents have been uncertain about vaccinations and their safety and I believe that it is important to educate them as to why I believe children should be vaccinated. Are vaccinations safe to administer to children? Background. Different forms of vaccines have been around since the times of ancient Greece. In 1796, a British doctor named Edward Jenner developed the modern version of the vaccine that we use today. In 1980, the World Health Organization declared that smallpox was officially eradicated. How do vaccines work? Vaccines help prevent the spread of disease by imitating an infection in the form of a dead or weakened strand of a virus. The body's immune system will then recognize the virus, and when it comes into contact with a live form, the body's cells will be able to fight off the invader. The body's immune system will form cells, such as white blood cells, that have the ability to fight off viruses, such as measles, and stop them from multiplying. Possible side effects. Minor side effects are fever and rash. Severe effects are extremely low, sometimes being as low as 1 to 2 cases per million people. They can include brain damage, infection, and even death. Because these extreme cases are so rare, medical professionals strongly believe that the benefits of vaccines greatly outweigh the drawbacks. Although they are not very common, these side effects have made some parents worried about vaccines and has led to a decrease in the overall vaccination rate of children in the United States. If this decrease continues, it could lead to an outbreak of disease and put many healthy people at risk. Why it is important to vaccinate One of the largest concerns when it comes to not vaccinating a child is if the child catches a vaccine-preventable disease, they will be carrying a live form of the virus. This causes a risk of the virus mutating to form a new strand that can leave other vaccinations ineffective because our bodies will not be able to recognize the new strand. It is also a major concern if a vaccinated person comes into contact with an unvaccinated person because the vaccinated person might be a carrier of a disease that their vaccine makes them immune to. The problem is that the unvaccinated person can then catch the disease from the person who is immune. Many scientists and medical professionals have devoted their work to discovering new ways to prevent diseases and to make the world a better and safer place to live. Therefore, vaccinating your children and getting vaccinated yourself is a smart choice, not only for you, but for the health of the world as a whole. Created using Powtoon.